In this video, we drive around Greece in our self-converted Sprinter camper van, looking for decent weather. Our heating doesn't work, the weather's awful. If you don't know us, we are Kinga and Marcin, and for the past five months we have been living and working in our van. We travelled all the way from the UK to Turkey, spent three amazing months surrounded by new culture and beautiful landscapes, enjoyed our ups and downs of van life. Today's not the best. And now we are embarking a new country. Welcome to Greece. We have a crazy itinerary whilst we are here. From amazing towns, through incredible sunsets, to Athens and its historical importance. Join us as we explore Greece over the next few weeks. Good morning and welcome to Greece. Our first stop in Greece was a small town of Kavala. Apparently, it's the Monte Carlo of Greece. Kavala is one of the most attractive of Greece's largest cities, rising like an amphitheatre from the beautiful harbour up to a huge Byzantine fortress. Spending a few hours in this town was a great experience and it was amazing to see a fairly popular tourist destination with its rich history getting ready before the season. It's amazing how all these houses down there are built on the city walls which must have been a huge massive castle in the past. After spending almost three months in Turkey, we finally had the change of scenery, the language and the culture. Even though we love Turkey, Greece seemed more closer to home. It feels more familiar. We are really excited to explore Greece over the next few weeks. That night, we drove our home on wheels to a quiet, remote beach to enjoy a beautiful sunset. I don't think we were ready for what came after. What the hell, Greece? What is this weather? Our heating doesn't work. The weather's awful. It was really cold at night, like zero degrees. So we slept like this. Felt like I was in a tent. So now we're running heating in the front because we're driving in a second. But in the meantime, we're making some brews and we've got some candles going. Lovely start of the Greece trip. Hopefully it gets better. Well, I mean, counting yesterday's sunset. And, today's and not the best. Yeah, today's not the best. But cold and miserable. It's actually snowing in Greece. For three days we had no heating because the fuel pump hole they broke and I managed to attach it yesterday I'm gonna show you in a second what it looks like but the thing is it's very loud and it's very annoying so I'm gonna try and fix that now so if you turn this on this is the new pump fixing mount After fixing our heating, we made a run to the western coast of Greece, starting with this beautiful town of Parga. I think this is a little holiday village, there's loads of shops and hotels, which are obviously now closed, but it's so beautiful, I'd definitely come here for a holiday. Parga is famous for its exotic beaches, breathtaking natural landscape, and it boasts a truly amazing view. We made our way up and down through the narrow streets of this quiet town. We seen this beautiful tiny island while we're up there and it just looked so secluded and beautiful and coming up closer it looks like a church and not a house. How in 
love. You feel alive to sit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that. The whole day I've just been going down. And I've been unable to say absolutely anything else. And I'm just wowed. Wowed. Wow. Last night we stayed here on this beach in Barga. The city itself is really nice. It's got a very Italian vibe to it. I hope that's not an insult to Greeks. And yeah, our next stop and the mission for the next few days is to explore Lefkada. We've been extremely lucky with the weather in Greece. If it's sunny for one day, we know it's gonna be pouring it down for the next week. And this is exactly what the weather apparently is meant to be like whilst we're in Lefkada. The mission this morning was to go to an electrical store to pick up this. Most of the campsites, I think, and most of the marinas operate on 16 amp. We're gonna cut this off and put this on the end. And this is the end result. And I'm gonna show you now what it looks like in the back. So in the back we've got a 16 amp in. That goes in there. There's two reasons why we've done it this way. It's because we want a 16 in, but we don't have a 16 amp cable. So now we're using the 13 amp cable, converting it to 16 amp, and converting it to European because we don't have a UK plug. So, but we're waiting for that. And next month we're gonna have that, so we're gonna have one less cable in the system. So, one less opportunity for things to go wrong. What we've noticed in Greece is you can plug into bolt power in the marinas, off season. Uh, but it's usually 32 or 16 amp. I just paid over 20 euros to get across the bridge. Finally, after a week, we've got some sun and we're gonna do some exploring. We haven't really left our van in the last two weeks, so it was amazing to get moving and actually do something. Unfortunately, we decided to leave Lefkada out of our list because of really bad weather predictions in the upcoming days. We made it to the parking area of the waterfalls and the drive here was intense. I hope we can get out. The brakes stink. I think they need to rest. I'm not sure how far we are, but you can definitely hear the waterfalls already. We found Nether Waterfalls as an attraction through Google Maps, and we thought it would be a nice and easy walk. This is a proper climb. We were really glad the sun was finally out and our energy was charging back up. The waterfalls didn't disappoint and we can only imagine how much of a paradise this place is in the summertime. I am Tarzan! I am not Tarzan. Up on in the mountain hidden between two waterfalls we found this tiny chapel. This is where we realised that we are very grateful for living a lifestyle that we chose. beach just for sunset what a beautiful sunset as well I know. we are really excited to be exploring Greece for the next few weeks and we hope you're gonna stay with us and love it just as much as we do thanks for watching bye